What's up guys, Charlie here. Hey guys, just making this video. Um, I'm gonna be traveling. I'm gonna be traveling to Dominica, which is my home country. Uh, I was born and raised there. It's in the Caribbean. Um, not to be mistaken with Dominica Republic, it's Dominica. If you search Dominica, Rosso, you'll see the um, the flag of Dominica comes up on, on anywhere you search with a parrot on there. Once you see that, that's what you're looking for, Dominica. One of the most beautiful countries in the world. So I'm traveling from Houston in Texas, and I'm going to Dominica right here. You can see it, it's right between two islands there, uh, Martinique and Guadeloupe, and that's where I'm going. So I'm gonna be traveling from Houston to Miami, and then from Miami, I'm getting a flight on American Airlines, traveling straight to Dominica. Um, most times you might have to stop, according to what, kind, what flight you get, you might have to stop in Puerto Rico, um, San Juan, which is right here. You might have to stop there sometimes, most times. You might have to stop here, but now they have direct flights from Miami to Dominica on American Airlines or American Eagle. So usually, guys, when I search for flights, I go to Google Flights and I go in here and I put in my Houston to Dominica, D-O-M, and it's gonna bring up this one there, Douglas, right here. So after you put in your destination, which is Houston to Dominica, you're gonna type, tap on, on the date area here, and you can choose the date that you are leaving. But let's just suppose that you are leaving on the 17th, and you can see the price right here, the price is right here. Because December is winter and everybody is coming down, everybody's going down to the Caribbean on vacations, and it's called really winter vacation, the prices usually go up. So you, you will see um, in January, after, after the New Year's here, it's gonna start going down and goes down all the way down to 7.45. I went ahead and play around with the dates. I found this flight here, it said six hours, so let's see, Houston to Dominica, um, you leave, George Bush Airport at 529. You arrive in Miami. There's a one hour layaway. Um, you leave Miami at 10 and you get to Dominica. So that's a straight flight from Miami. So we're gonna look for a returning flight. This one takes 11 hours. So you get back, basically you get back the same day. This one is, is cheaper. So let's go ahead and take this one there. And we have that. And usually what I do is when I get the flight that I want, because I like the way that Google Flights kind of um, have their stuff organized. Then I go to, I can book with whoever I want to book with. And I'm, right now I'm gonna book with, um, these are two good airlines. And you can basically go to straight towards the um, the airline webpage, sign in or whatever you want to do. And then you can put in your flight. So basically that's it. And so that's where I'm at right now. So after you book your trip and everything is ready, you basically wait for your date and then you're ready to go. With me right now, I am in the packing stage. I'm packing all my clothes. It's basically I'm packing summer clothes. Um, the temperature in Dominica is usually in the 70s and 80s at this time of the year. So you don't really have to pack any kind of sweaters. It doesn't get that cold or that hot. So you can see Dominica right there is a very rugged country. Um, if you're into nature, this is the place that you want to go. Um, let's visit one of those places there. You can see Lots of greenery on the island. Here you go. Very volcanic. Lots of crystal clear water, boiling lakes, all that kind of good stuff. Um, let's go there. You can see, if you Google Dominica, you can see that's what will come up. I told you about if you want to find Dominica in Google, make sure you get the one, make sure you get Dominica with, the, with, the, um, with this flag. This is the flag of Dominica. You look for the power. And once you get that, you cannot go wrong. You can see right here, I have like a description about Dominica. Let's just... Dominica is a mountainous Caribbean island nation with natural hot springs and tropical rainforests. Morantois-Pitons National Park is home to the volcanically heated, steam-covered boiling lake. The park also encompasses sulfur vents, the 65M tall Trafalgar Falls and narrow Taitu Gorge. To the west is Dominica's capital, Roseau, with colorful timber houses and botanic gardens. So like I say, you can find your hotels down here, Fort Young Hotel, um, Creek Plantation, Cabrit Resort, um, Main Road Suite, Ocean Lodge, and you can just continue going and you can find. And, and one, is, one, one of the beautiful things about the hotels down there is that they are very 
Um, they're locally owned. They're not big resorts and stuff. So you get that one-on-one -on -one feeling when you in those in that hotel. Yeah, so because I was born on the island, my expectation on the island is a little bit different than what you expect. Um, if you are a foreigner and you're going down there, no worries, you'll be well taken care of. But the one thing I can tell you is when you're going down there, whatever your lifestyle is on the mainland, you have to live it up there. You're going to experience something different. Um, the whole country, in fact, the Caribbean, most of the Caribbean is really slow pace life. People are very happy. They are not stressed. Um, one of the most stress-free countries in the world, that region area there in the Caribbean is really stress-free, especially Dominica. People do things in their own time. Um, there's not a rush to go to work. There's not a rush to um, get things done because people, they're very family-oriented. Um, lots of things are done on the island. Um, you do have access to you do have access to communication everywhere. I think most likely you can use your phone or you can buy a card and, and, and hook up your phone and call the mainland. But just don't expect what you live in in the mainland. Um, fast food, um, the roads, the way people drive down there, everything is different. Be careful. Um, it can be an experience coming from the airport, driving to downtown. I know a lot of people um, complain about that. Uh, I have traveled with Americans on trips all around the world. I've been to Asia, I've been to Bahamas, I've been to Jamaica, and I've been to a lot of places um, sitting on buses or traveling on cruise ships or on plane with mainland people. And some people, they don't, they expect the same kind of service. If you don't leave that kind of expectation, on the mainland or, or close it down, you're not going to enjoy any rainy Caribbean. Example, to get to places like that, you it's going to take a while to drive through um, a volcanic place. This place is, for those of you who've been to Hawaii or whatever, this is even more rugged than Hawaii. So to get to places like that, um, to see the beautiful nature of the island, um, you have to want to just be patient, chill, uh, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not a rush to, to, to get to enjoy things like that. Some of the best corals, some of the best whale watching, some of the clearest water you've ever seen, some of the best diving, some of the best local food, some of the best um, greenery, some of the best um, valleys, hills, mountains, boiling lakes. I mean, you just name it you're going to experience something that is just um, radical in the sense of, I might, it's just going to be, oh my God, oh my God, all, all day long. So these are some, some of my photos. The last time I was down there, I went down there just after, after the hurricane, about, about four years ago. And you can see the rivers, uh, the sea, the coast. Just even after a hurricane where the trees are almost down, it's different now, to be honest, but back then the, the, the island was just coming back when I went to visit four years ago and it was just beauty after beauty after beauty. Uh, it's quite an experience. Like I said, that's me bending over on the side of the road and just drinking water from the ground. Nice, cold, icy water. Um, beautiful flowers. Um, being, in the, being in the river with no worries. Uh, 365 rivers and streams, so you cannot go wrong in finding water everywhere on the island. Um, you cannot even make a few steps without seeing crystal clear water. So this is Dong Dong Rozo. And it's the influence and the buildings you can see it's kind of English and French and Portuguese. It's everything in one. Um, you have to go to your local shops like this and just sit down and have a drink. Enjoy the nice cold beer, Koboli, which is made on the island. You will experience no rare airs, guys. No rare airs. It's crazy. Yeah, people live a really laid back, chill life. Some of the happiest people on the face of the earth is found in Dominica, guys. So 
hopefully um, I'll be heading down there in December. I'll be there from December to the to almost um, January. So hopefully, who knows? I might see somebody, some of you guys down there, guys. So until then, this is Charlie. This is part one of this video in my preparation for my trip. And then I will make more videos as time goes on to update you guys on my travel on my travels to Dominica. Guys, this is Charlie. I will see you guys later.